Good evening, I'm Tramai in for Caribe Divine. And I'm Mike Gonzalez in for Mark Curtis tonight, who's on assignment new tonight. The family of a Phoenix man who died after his arrest is demanding answers about exactly what happened. Breaking just moments ago, Phoenix police releasing body camera footage of that incident to, to show transparency. Team Tulsa Nicole Zymek has been looking into the facts known about the situation. Nicole, what does this new footage show? Tram Mike, it shows the moments police confront Alexander Brown at the Circle K. Help me, Jesus! Help me, Jesus! Help me, Jesus! In the video, you can see Jesus, officers hey. approaching Brown, telling him they want to make sure he doesn't Help have me. any weapons. All right, let's, let's make sorry. sure you don't have any weapons, okay? This happening October 6th at the Circle K on 51st Avenue in McDowell. Phoenix police say customers at the Circle K called 911 saying he was pushing people around and locked people inside the store. He has a male that's very violent right now, doesn't want to leave the store, and everybody is telling him to leave. Okay, how is he being so, violent? No. He's pushing everybody, and he's okay. not leaving our store. Okay. Get on your After a struggle, police got him in handcuffs. He's on the floor. Police say Brown was then put in the back of a squad car, where they say he started hitting his head against the door. Firefighters took him to a hospital where he died. Police haven't given a reason for his death, but say hospital records show he had meth in his system. Um, my brother was a good man, a loving man, a giving man. But his family says this isn't the Alex they know. They describe him as peaceful, friendly, involved in the church. His sister says the episode in the Circle K was out of character. He didn't deserve to die, and they want answers. Instead of trying to figure out what is wrong with this young man or get him some help, what, you know, he was taken out, walked out peacefully with the police officers from everyone that was in there. He walked out peacefully. My brother walked out of that store alive and came out of that police car deceased. So that's the problem I have. The medical examiner's office has not yet ruled on a cause of death. In the newsroom, Nicole Zymek, 12 News.